Hello guys and welcome to Napster TV. I have been asked a lot of questions about how to enlarge your Conquer screen. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to do it and uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, uh, make your Conquer run a lot smoother than the original settings. So what you want to do is uh, the first step, what I do is always to choose a low definition because it, uh, it doesn't have to process a lot of all the effects you get a lot of less lag. Uh, let's see if I can log in. Alright guys, I logged in now and uh, usually you get this screen, it's a small screen. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, uh, go to settings. The first thing I do is <laughs> reduce the sound of music. I, uh, they had this music for like 12 years now, they never changed it. So yeah. Uh, what uh what I do usually is I, I go for the one uh, 1024 and 768 uh, resolution. Uh, I just click window. I pull my screen to the top left like this. And then what you want to do is unlock the resolution. Here is a yeah you unlock it. You click it once so you see the max. Then you go to the edge of your screen and you drag it out all the way like this and you, you release alright so now the thing it does is that uh, it lets you drag out the screen as you see the white line around the screen you can drag it out however you like see it can be like this as well <laughs> that kind of sucks but yeah. Uh, so yeah you drag it out and then you go to settings and again and you lock the resolution so you you don't unintentionally make it smaller uh, so that's how it works guys. Uh, the other things uh, I wanted to show you is uh, there is something uh, called shadows. Uh, you, if you choose the full a full uh, shadows you can see the shadows of the mouses here and if you just go simple you, you won't see it. It will just be a small dot. Uh, it redu reduces some lag as well. Uh, also I heard uh, about this uh, number of 3D models. Uh, right? so uh, you just click OK and then uh, switch it to 1. Uh, I've heard that that reduces the lag. Uh, what it says is the dynamic uh, deduction will activate when the number of 3D models on the screen exceeds the set number. Uh, the graphic quality will be reduced. And uh, Obviously that's what you want. If, you, if you're going for a PvP or a to fight someone, you want as le uh, less uh, graphics uh, as possible uh, to reduce the lag. So I just put it on one and confirm it. That's it. Uh, then there is two more settings uh, that is pretty useful in PvP. Uh, the most important is uh, FPS settings. Uh, you always have to change it to high FPS. Uh, whenever you log in a new account or you create a new account, you always have to change it to high FPS. That's that's very important. Uh, it r reduces your ping, and it it, it um, increases your frames per second to up to uh, it's uh, capped by 199. So if I go in normal FPS, I will have Top, uh, max 39 and the ping goes up to 76 so you, you just go to high also if you have uh, uh, old PC of course you should run the lower uh, because your PC may probably won't make it uh, then the, the second one is a uh, very uh, good setting is uh, height ch character uh, you can hide some people uh, like uh, blue na red or black names uh, you can choose to not see them uh, and here's the important ones uh, if you're a water and you only want to see uh, your teammates uh, it's important that you choose this one it will only let you show your friends and allies it, it, you can't see any enemies so you won't get you will get a lot less lag and you will get to revive them uh, see your own uh, own team members easier because it's usually on team events, it gets messy. It gets a little messy on the screen. So uh, the other thing is, if you're attacker uh, in the team, uh, then I recommend to show enemies and force info. You click on it, and then you only can see your enemies. You can't see your team members. So you, it lets you focus on your enemies uh, 
much much better it's much easier uh, yeah there you go so there is the defaults are like this and j just make sure that before the team events you, you change it to whatever class you play uh, the other thing is if you play a monk then you can't you can't choose any of this uh, and to make it work by the way uh, you have to click tab tab on your keyboard when you click tab it, it, it takes effect the settings take effect uh, yeah and for uh, what I meant about monk is that monk you have to shackle and unshackle and <laughs> you can't really use any of the settings unless you're only uh, focusing only on unshackle or only on shackle uh, all other classes is pretty much attackers use this ones uh, and uh, support classes uh, use this ones warriors that's about it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial about how to make uh, conquer smoother and enlarge the screen uh, like and subscribe and see you guys later.